Hi, welcome everyone to today's video on machine learning regression analysis in R. We will be uh, trying to estimate regression analysis uh, in a different way in which we will apply the machine learning uh, approach. So first of all, we'll start with uh, appropriate libraries, which includes tidyverse for data analysis and core graph for core. Uh, correlations and these are other libraries like this is for descriptive descriptive stats and others are for um, uh, for reading the excel files like read excel and then there are some like caret for uh, machine learning so i will go i will going to read the data file so usually when you're going to read the data file the fastest way is to go through import data set and you should know what kind of data file you have it is even if it is a csv you would use the read r method if it is an excel xls file use this method if it is an spss file use this or others when you use this method then you can uh, uh, get the code and then copy it here for that so once the data is loaded you will have a code shown here just copy it in your do file so the next time you can import the data directly so and i'm going to import the data using read excel command and saving it as a df so when i execute it it can be done by pressing control enter it will show a data file here with 23000 observations with 232 variables you can see the variable names using call names command these are the names of the variables and you can also see their properties using strdf so that you can see how many are numerical character logical uh, variables so when i did this um, I used this command i found out that one of my variable which should be numerical is shown as uh, non numerical let me show it here the name was depth here yeah. so this variable was character here but uh, actually it is not it is because that there, there is there will be i think some in some places na is written so the command that can be used is i will use the df dollar new variable name so it will insert a new column in the data file and the function is as dot numeric so it means it converts the variable depth from the data file convert it into numeric and save it as uh, depth one so what it will do it will create a new variable and the, the the characters the variables the places where characters are shown they will convert into n's this way this variable is converted into numeric then i will shortlist the data file and remove the variables which are not needed using the select command then uh, because machine learning does not work on missing values so i will use the filter command to remove the na's from the specific variables which i need so when i run this command the missing values are removed then i need to calculate the square variables so i will use the mutate command to create new variables this way uh, new variables are made now uh, then is uh, there are some other variables that need to be needed to be removed so i will use the select command again and then there was one variable which is uh, named as zones so i will shortlist or sub create a sub sample using filter command so that uh, this command is just to show how how you can create sub samples in the data now we are going towards doing the machine learning algorithm for that we we'll start with stat describe command this will this is useful to to see the descriptive stats um, and then then before you start machine learning algorithm you need to use the set dot seed command this command is actually used to fix the um, simulations in the background a uh, random number generator simulation in the background because if you don't use it every time you rerun the machine learning it will give different results so in order to replicate uh, or to show to your supervisors you have to use the set seed so i will fix the starting value of the 
random sampling algorithm then what it will do it will split the sample into two parts first part will be 70% uh, another is the 30% so when I uh, run this command it will randomly find the 70% splitting point and then I will st st uh, store the samples uh, in different so train set is the 70% portion and the test set is the 30% portion so when I run these so my two samples are stored you can see that overall sample was 16,000 and the training set is 11,000 and the test sample is 4,800 now I can run the regression model uh, LM linear model formula dependent variable and dot dot means that all of the other variables which are in this set data file which was train dot set uh, so all of the variables will become independent variables so dot means here so when I run this it will run the machine, machine learning regression analysis in the background when I do the summary model it will show me the regression analysis table it is, it is shown same as the simple regressions which, which we normally do and only difference is that the samples is different then what you can do is you can generate residuals using this command so it will, it will make a new data file uh, which includes the residuals it is model residual and you want to store it in the data file so but I will use the select the train set add a new column which is dependent variable predicted dependent variable name was PGA and then model residuals so when you do it it will be stored into the train set as a new variable which will be the forecast error or prediction error or you call it residuals now uh, what what you next you want to do is that you want to add a column of the zone name so that when you use it with other files you can differentiate so this command is just to show how to add a constant in the data file so I am converting the train set into zone 1 and then just add a column which is equal to 1 so when you see this file you can see that there is a constant you see you can add a variable now you can plot the residual histogram using ggplot command so you can see the residuals are nearing 0 with a long left tail and then you can add the predicted dependent variable using this command predicts and, and then you can you can add that column into the original data file using cbind also cbind column this is another way to add the column into the data file so now if you open that uh, model evaluation so and, and, and you name the column names like this you can convert the data file in which the dependent variable and the predicted dependent variable are here using this command and then you can open there is actual dependent variable and predicted dependent variable now you can calculate the RMSE using this method because the regression does not show RMSE so in order to compare two different regression models you can use this RMSE command so this way you can use uh, regression analysis machine learning thank you very much for watching and do subscribe and share your comments for more videos